this is our wee parlour. And no matter what happens in this street, of course, we hear about it. Well, there's an old doll called O'Candriac. She lives nearly face. Now, you've seen O'Candriac all her Saturday nights, but no matter what happens, she comes in to tell my mammy about it. Well, she was out char, and she says she wasn't char, and she was housekeeping. She asked me she was scrubbing. That's what she was doing. For this old doll in one of the better class districts in Belfast, past the night in my stage, like, so you may guess, like, what she is. Well, she had never a good word to say about this woman she worked for. She came in and said she was an old cat and she wouldn't give you this and she wouldn't give her a dinner. She said, what do you work for the woman for if you don't like her? Never answered me. My mommy said the same. She said, don't take the woman's money and ridicule her, she says. Well, I believe things come to a head. A Tuesday, it was Tuesday, it was Tuesday night. She come ramming in here, and you think my mommy made it. Then the way she starts, she relived the thing all over again. It appears she turned on this woman. Without no contract, something snapped. Like, you get to that stage, something snapped. She turned on the lady what she worked for, and I believe from her description, dogs wouldn't elect the woman's blood. Listen to you. Pardon? Did you take any bread when I was out? I never touched no bread. Well, it's very strange. There were seven slices in the kitchen when I went out, and now there's only six. A slice of bread made a rare Jew, but heavens, it never reared me. How dare you? This is a hungry hole. Oh, well, then you must have stole it. Nobody will accuse me in, Yuggin. Away to hell. I am going to phone my husband. Your husband? Ha! That we weren't. What could he do? Never seen a hungry hole like it. One sardine in the house by heavens, you tell everybody you'd fish for your dinner. How dare you? How dare you? Get out. Get out! Wasn't it a gag? All the same, wasn't it a gag? So she says the woman accused her of nyuckin', and like according to her, she would nyuck nah. Hmm. However, she wasn't long out of work, like for I believe she's a right worker, like she is a right worker. She was in, and she wouldn't housekeep no more. Oh, she's in education now, a cleaner in a school. I know she'd got the job in the school because I heard her telling the woman next door all about it. Hello. Didn't know if you'd be up yet or not. Do you mind that old cat I work for at Castleway? Walked out on her. Walked out. Well, she was sorry. She got nobody like me. I've got a start. I wasn't long out. I've got a job in a school with the education authority. Start not too bad in the morning and finished early. You're not like me, Lily. I work at night. <laughs> Lovely gentleman, the headmaster was lovely spoken all Like I'm not cleaning or nothing, I'm doing like floors, like four wages And nearly double the money she was giving me He's a lovely gentleman, he spoke beautiful We says would love, he says, to have you with us What well, I says, if any time you're stuck, I says, or short of a teacher That I says, don't be afraid to ask, I says If you're short of a teacher, I will just wire in, isn't it great? 